Hmm, I'm talking about the blood of Jesus. Every time they punched him, every time they hit him, every time they kicked him, the blood would come out. That blood, he was shedding his precious blood for you and for me. Amen. Yet not he opened his mouth. The blood that cleanses us. The blood that washes us. The blood that renews us. His holy precious blood. Oh thank God. Think about this tonight. The people was laughing at him. As they took him through the streets of Jerusalem. He was carrying a cross upon his shoulder. Some was weeping and crying. And no doubt Jesus looked over at them. As he was holding to the cross. The weight of the world upon his shoulder sin. Amen. A man without sin, he took the world's sin and he carried it on his shoulder. Praise God. And no doubt his knees were buckling from the loss of the blood. No doubt each time that he stumbled or fell over to the side a little bit, one of those soldiers just kicked him again and punched him again. But yet he opened not his mouth. Are you hearing this tonight? This is what Jesus did for whosoever will tonight. And no doubt Jesus looked over at some of those women that was standing there weeping and just holding her face a crying seeing what was going on he said woman weep not for me for if they do this thing when the tree is yet dry green what will they do when it's dry and praise God he went all the way and when they got him up to the top of Golgotha's hill they took a hammer and some rusty old nails and began to put them in his hands and to his feet every time that hammer come down and you could hear the sound of that nail going in that was blood that was coming out of his hands and out of his feet oh he could have called 12 legions of angels to deliver him from the cross yet he opened not his mouth oh yes they put nails into his hands and his feet and man they lifted him up between heaven and earth and Jesus was there between two thieves this is what the savior done for us my God can I just tell you about the blood tonight this blood come with a price he purchased the church with his own blood he purchased mine and your salvation with his own blood he made a way to heaven by his own blood and they got him up there on the cross and the two thieves was right beside of him one said if you be the son of God why don't you save us and save yourself and the other one said have you no fear of God even while you're yet dying this man he's done nothing amiss he said we're getting our just rewards and he looked over to Jesus he said Lord remember me when you come into your kingdom he said this day you'll be with me in paradise thanks to the blood thank God that's what the blood can do I'm talking about the blood of Jesus a man without sin but he come to die for the whole sin of the whole world there's people tonight that's murderers and killers and thieves and drug dealers and all kinds of things Jesus come to die for you he come to die for those sins he come to die for alcoholism he come to die oh for new age lifestyles he come to die for the things that you see going on in the land today mistreatment of people and things of that nature he didn't leave nothing out his blood is able to save to the uttermost to wash away to renew and thank God for his blood the blood of Jesus no doubt why Jesus was hanging up on the cross people the Bible says was going by and wagging their head at him another form of making fun and mocking him I'm talking about the Son of God. I'm talking about the, the Christ, Jesus, our Lord. The one that's got all power in both heaven and earth. He could have destroyed everything. He could have said, God, it's just too much. I can't take it. And God would have just destroyed us all. But he stayed on the cross. He stayed there for you and for me. He endured it. He despised the shame. He took the pain and he died for you and for me. I'm telling you what the blood can do for you tonight. The blood of Jesus. Oh, praise God. And people were standing there. And no doubt at this time, you know, they've made movies and they've made pictures and everything like that uh, about the crucifixion of Jesus. But it can't even be put into words. It can't even be put on film. 
just what Jesus suffered for you and for me. No doubt at this time the blood was running down from his face and from his wounds and from his back, from his hands and from his feet. No doubt it was running down that wooden old man-made cross. Hey man, and people still making fun of him and talking about him and pointing at him. Look, he saved others. Why does he save him, not himself? Hey, if you be the son of God, come down from the cross. Then we'll believe you. Come on down and making fun. No doubt slapping their knees, laughing and saying, this is the Nazarene, the, the son of Mary and Joseph, the carpenter's son. Hey, why can't, well, come on down from the cross. No doubt. He could have. He could have come down, but he stayed on the cross for you and for me. He shed his blood for you and for me. He didn't have to do none of it. He didn't have to suffer none of it, but he did it out of love. 